Yes, Galaxy Note 20 rumors already. Over the last few years, the Galaxy S range and the Galaxy Note range of phones have become ever closer in design. Before, the Note range was a bigger phone. It had a bigger screen, it had the S Pen. It was more of a workhorse phone designed for professional users. But recently, the S and Note lineups have less differences, and the Note range is more of an opportunity for Samsung to slightly tweak the design and keep that S Pen. And with the S20 range just released growing even bigger, it's gonna be harder for Samsung to differentiate the two in terms of design. For example, the S20 Plus has a screen size of 6.7 inches, which is much larger than the previous S10 coming in at 6.4 inches. And the S20 Plus's screen is only 0.1 of an inch smaller than that of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Then you have the mammoth Galaxy S20 Ultra, which is actually even bigger than the biggest Note phone coming in at 6.9 inches. But there is a physical limit to how big phones can be before they're just too big that is unless you, you know, fold the screen. In any case, Samsung are working on the Note 20 lineup, according to Ice Universe. And according to him, they have an internal code name of Project C. The name doesn't give much away, unlike the code names for the S20 series, which was Picasso, which gave a little clue towards the imaging capabilities of those phones. But he backed this up with another tweet saying that the C in Project C stood for Canvas. So a short while ago, there was a leak of a patent that Samsung filed regarding a waterfall screen design that they were working on with the ability to put a physical button actually through the waterfall screen. As we know, Samsung is already producing waterfall displays and shipping them to clients. The Mate 30 Pro from Huawei uses a Samsung waterfall display display. Waterfall screens are absolutely stunning to look at, but I think the jury is still out on whether a lot of people actually will go for it in their device. Actually, we can't tell either way because the Mate 30 Pro never got a fair run out, so we don't know how widespread adoption would be of those screens. Anyway, with Samsung moving away from curved screens in the S20 lineup, they basically have two options. They can either follow what they did in the S20 lineup and give almost flat displays in the Note 20 lineup, or they can go completely the opposite route and give a waterfall display. Anyway, that pattern is probably a red herring because patents like that take a long time to actually get into phones, if ever, especially in this time frame, it's very unlikely. And there's another problem because of the S Pen, and according to Ice Universe, the S Pen is staying and even getting some upgrades and some more features. That means space within the phone is extremely limited and could push Samsung away from that type of design. There was also a leak that the Note 20 might come in with a built-in projector, which does sound kind of cool, but again, it's one of those things that you just don't really expect to make it to the finished product, but we could be surprised. In any case, talking about size constraints in the phone because of the S Pen, according to the latest information, a Galaxy Note 20 variant is coming with 128 gigabytes of base storage. That is actually lower than the base variant of the Note 10 range coming in at 256. The reasons are unclear why Samsung would do this. Maybe size really is constrained within the phone and maybe they'll offer SD card support as they didn't do that in the Note 10. Anyway, you'd hope so as we have to assume they'll be using the S20's cameras and with all the 8K, 4K and 108 megapixels, 64 and 48 megapixels, that's a lot of data to store. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.